why is it so easy to do things for people and not do things for yourself what are your intentions is the biggest 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 question I don't know how you're going to package it. I don't know how you're going to say it. But you have to know what the intentions of this person is towards you. You just have to know. Please stop asking, do I see myself with you in 10 years? These guys were actually being very honest. Do I see myself with you in 10 years? Like, I barely know you. What am I going to do? Okay, please stop asking, do I see myself with being 10 years? Like, I barely know what I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> Let's just enjoy the vibes we got now and see where it takes us. Mm. Just know if we are dating, I am obviously trying to build a future together. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Some part I agree, some part I don't. Please stop asking. Do I see myself in there in 10 years? Let me tell you. I do not think this is a question. No, this is just my opinion. I do not think this is a question that should be directed to that person. It's a question that you should direct it to yourself. Do I see myself with this person in 10 years? It is not, do you, do I see myself with you in 10 years? Like... That's a you problem, not a them problem. Cause you have, you have checked to see what type of a person they are. Okay, this is me. This is me. I don't know about the rest of the people. If I cannot see you as a lifelong partner, I cannot see you as a boyfriend now. So I cannot ask you, do I see myself with you in ten years? That's not that's not a you question. That's a me question. You know the reason why. I think the reason why this person might want to ask someone a question like that is because they're also uncertain of whatever it is they're in. That is just my opinion. Because if I'm certain, excuse me, if I'm certain, because if I'm certain, I will not be asking this person such kind of a question. You know when you know. You don't ask them. You, you ask yourself. Okay. The guy says, I barely know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Let's just enjoy the vibes we got now and see where it takes us. So that is very, that is very dependent on what type of people you are. Because mm. there are people who want serious when they go in, they want it to actually be a serious thing. Some people want to just have fun and enjoy and nothing serious. You're not special. You're not specific. So that's on individuals. It cannot be, it cannot be said. It cannot cover everyone. Not because not everyone is the same. Some people do not want such kind of vibes. Some people want to get into something and they want to be serious. Some people just want to enjoy. So I think communication is key there. Whatever your desires are and whatever your expectations are, you you say them. Put them straight on the table so that somebody can know if they're taking it or leaving it. Uh, just know if we are dating, I'm obviously trying to build a future together. You see, this guy said three different things in one statement. So that's why I was saying I am agreeing partly and I'm not agreeing in another. So you see, it's not obvious if we're together, you're trying to build something. If you've not communicated it in the second statement in Yamesema, let's enjoy the vibes. So if we're coming together and you're like, this is just for vibes, nothing serious. I will know you're not trying to build anything with me. And I would make a decision if I want to continue or not. But if we come together and you're serious, and of course your actions will speak louder than your words, I would know you're trying to build something. So I would agree partly and partly not agree. I hope I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. Next, this person said, find a man who is the man you want, not can be. Uh -huh. Stop breaking your back trying to change us. Uh-huh. We change when it's our time. Mm -hmm. Half the time, you'll break your back and then another woman reaps benefit. Mm -hmm. That is not your fault. Just what you should not have to go through. Find is, not can. I guess the... the... <sighs> Wait. <laughs> Let me put my thoughts together. Mm-hmm. I might not agree with this completely because many of the times we meet especially people in my age in my age bracket in our 
early and mid 20s people in the early and mid 20s i feel like people in this age group and age bracket you do not necessarily find the man in their complete self the same way you are not your complete self so you would you could tell what this person would turn out to be in the near future depending on who they are now am i making sense how they speak concerning their dreams their goals and the actions they are currently taking and the steps they are currently taking to achieve that you can tell what type of a person they may turn out to become and then also there's the part where you, you pray about it and uh, and the holy spirit will just give you discernment to know and to see things from a clear glass now me i'm talking as a christian and as a believer so so find a man who is the man you want not can be partly true partly not because i guess the wordings i guess the the the, the is it are they the cans and the is is what i'm i'm kind of struggling with but you can find a man who is the man you want yes that i agree not can be so i think this is find a man who is the man you want not an expectation of a man you would like them to be i think that would be better because like i said some people are not yet there most people are not yet there but you can tell and you can see where this person is going the vision is so clear you can tell yeah so that is what i would say about that part stop breaking your back trying to change us please don't change people it is not your job you're not jesus you're not the holy spirit you're not god don't some of us tried it we cried buckets um stop trying to break your back stop breaking breaking your back trying to change people yeah don't change people i like the way you're saying us like for women don't stop, don't try changing a man especially if you find them at a I, at this time why are you struggling to change someone like are you yourself the person you've imagined yourself to be 10 years from now be busy working on yourself are you working on other people and then you leave yourself hanging oh that's something like i should also tell myself but not in that sense i'm not trying to change anyone right now in my life why <laughs> no so we change when it's our time half the time you all break your back and then another woman reaps benefits mm -hmm. you try and change this person to become a better stop drinking stop doing this stop doing that and then they were not really the one for you and then somebody else comes and swoops them off their feet and they go and they've taken the guy when they're good and anyway we must idea generations to come but is it really necessary don't be prideful speak up when there is a problem speak up when you need something put the ball in his court leave no doubt of clarity don't beat around the bush be direct be concise uh, get to the point be straightforward i think this is like a whole <laughs> vent of a cycle but it's true sometimes ladies we just have a problem with being straightforward i personally pride myself in the fact that i feel like i'm an extremely straightforward person but when it comes to my emotions and things about myself Okay, I will say this and then I say that and then I say this and then when you combine them together they are not making sense. Speak up when there's a problem, agreed. Speak up when you need something, agreed. Sometimes you don't even know what you need. So I think this for it for this to be able to happen, it has to start from a place yeah. You you are self aware. That's the word. If a lady if I am self aware, I am going to be able to say something when i'm not okay with it because i know what triggers me i know what i have an issue with i know what i don't like you know if you're self-aware then you're able to do the things this guy say but if you're not don't even bother to be in a relationship and honestly i feel like being self-aware is a journey it is not a this it's not it's not like a it's not a it's not a marathon it's not a sprint it is honestly not a sprint. You learn new things about yourself every single day as you grow older. Especially at this age, if you're very careful to sit down with yourself and to ask, why am I feeling this way? Why am I? You you will learn so many new things about yourself. And then they help you in your interactions. They will help you in so much as you continue growing. 
yeah so be direct be concise get to the point be straightforward i think this is a very good thing to say but it has to come the person who is being told to do this has to be very self-aware for them to be able to do this if they're not self-aware women need to relax and understand that they have the control over the re relationship stop treating men like your life depends on it be in love with a man and have a life outside that man don't get too attached men are more confused these days <laughs> hmm. this is coming from a man by the way these are not comments from women uh, women need to relax and understand that they have the control over the relationship uh, really that one i may, i will not comment on Stop treating men like your life depends on it. Mm, okay, that makes sense. Be in love with a man and have a life outside that man. Don't get too attached. Men are more confused these days. I do not know about the part where men are more confused these days. I'm not going to speak on behalf of men because I'm not a man. But I have a comment or two that I shall reserve. <laughs> but stop treating men like your life depends on it. I agree. I think back again to... If you're self-aware, if you're happy within yourself, if you, it, it just has to start from you. You will not make your life about another person, honestly. The only person you need to make your life about is Jesus, not people, not human beings. Nobody, stop treating people like your, men like your life depends on it. I think this guy is speaking, he's speaking a lot of sense there. Yes, I remember when I was like around 18, 18 to 18 to 19 18 to 19 to 20 yes 18 to 19, no 18 to 19 my first car relationship i remember one time my dad was like hey the way you behave you might think you were married 10 years ago and this is the person for you and you cannot and you have you know it's as in you treating it like i was sitting that relationship like my life depended on it if this person goes i'm gonna die guys did i die i didn't die you know i want to take him here so that he can enjoy his birthday blah blah blah. i want to take him here for a nice date oh and take to, to take her here for a nice is it a place you would take yourself alone i was like why is it so easy to do things for people and not do things for yourself who said this who said this Oh, yes, it was BN. He was having an interview. I think it was on Mantalk, and he made that statement. And I was, like, mind blown because it's true. There are so many places, so many things you're okay to do for people that you cannot do for yourself. And that there is a problem on its own. On the first date, make sure you ask all the questions you need in order to figure out who you're dating. And the main question you all need to ask from Jump is, what, what are your intentions? Ooh, yes. And tell that man what your intentions are if you're dating to marry. Tell him. I fully agree. Fully agree with this person. What are your intentions is the biggest, biggest, biggest question. I, I don't know how you're going to package it. I don't know how you're going to say it. But you have to know what the intentions of this person is towards you. You just have to know. You cannot afford to be ambiguous about something like that. You just can't. And then also... If you're dating to marry, if you're dating not to marry, these are very important questions that people need to ask. And you know, these are things you can also pick from conversations. They don't have to be things, you don't have to go there with a whole, what is it called? A whole a four questionnaire of things you want to ask them on a first date. Because it's not an interview really, but it is kind of an interview. But I, I think like even in your conversations, that's why... That's why I can agree. Not I can. I fully agree with the past I was listening to. When they say going on dates is very superficial. You you put yourself together so that you can look cute. And, and then you forget the whole agenda of this thing. You need to figure out this person. So if there's a way of you guys interacting outside of that superficial setup state, that would be way better. Because it's easy to pick some things on normal conversations as friends. If you're having a conversation and then they make a comment like, oh, I don't know what I feel about babies. Oh, I don't know what I feel about getting married. You know, that's different. You will pick it there. It might be very difficult to ask them on the first date. So are you planning on marrying? Are you? Do you want to marry? It might be a little bit difficult, though it's very important. 
so i think you can pick this from conversations you can ask them on the dates just know how you're going to package because don't scare people away you might be scaring a good person because you're asking them too many not too many questions but you're asking them i don't know i don't know how to say it but you i, I guess you get me and there's no such thing as too many questions oh okay ask that man how his relationship with his mother how is his relationship with his mother how he grew up does he have anger issues how he see he sees himself in the next five years if he doesn't mention marriage you know it's you're not getting married soon if you date him i completely agree sometimes you can also say that there's 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 not too many questions especially important questions there's some questions that you just have to ask how yeah you just have to i have met guys who treat their mothers <laughs> where did you grow up those things i'm when they are and if concern me i have a problem with people who don't say these things from jump you know what do you talk about kwani because it's not like you're going to ask each other what's your favorite color those are not things you ask each other if you're actually serious what kind of conversations do you have when they tell you stories of their childhood you you are alert if this is a person you are actually seeing something with you alert to hear what they're saying uh how they grew up with their siblings you know so yeah questions are important important questions are important if a dude's energy changes and he isn't as attentive and caring please be the queen that you are and move on <laughs> i should read this with that tone if a dude's energy okay no if a dude's energy changes and he isn't as attentive and caring please be the queen that you are and move on you don't have the time for men to be inconsistent don't give him the benefit of doubt either someone another female is the reason he's changing 90 percent of the time well this might be coming from his own expect his own experience or his own personal behaviors i don't know the last part but the first part uh if a person is changing and isn't as attentive and caring that is something to to, to question that would be something that would raise an eyebrow because why why are they suddenly being inconsistent before i don't think i believe there are steps before you get to i'm done moving on bye see ya you know if you care about the relationship there are steps you take before you say goodbye because you would want to know why this person's energy is changing you would probably want to hear why they are being indifferent now if they do not give a satisfying answer to you you could tell yourself it's time to move on but if they give you a satisfying answer and they have put in place they are accepting their mistakes and have put in place steps to on how they're going to change and then in the long run you see it in action you see you would have saved the relationship because i feel like there are steps there are steps before energy change bye goodbye i'm gone you know there are steps in between that you can take to try and salvage the situation and then use you you use wisdom to see if you can change it if you can't not change it if if it can be resolved between the two of you don't also fight on it about it on your own at sunny window if they do not want it leave them inconsistency is a problem especially for some of us Aki, i cannot stand inconsistent people why that's unfair don't be inconsistent when you ulianza ndo umalize maliza ulianza na roho kamaliza na mwili anza na roho na umalize na roho sometimes you're not the one for him and that's always okay why because he ain't the one for you either if you all don't sync up where it counts count your losses and move on your person or even people is out there for you don't settle because you're scared of change 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 is a very scary thing for so many people me being included i hate change i don't like change i i and it's funny how i came across this thing when i've had so many conversations around some of the things i've spoken about i don't like change i really don't like change it's a scary thing for me but sometimes change is good and change is important if need be so sometimes yeah, it's true. sometimes you're not the one and it's okay it's okay you've made a mistake the life does not end there you pick up your pieces count your losses and say it's cool i learned and move on i think that was good this video is 51 minutes long i will have to cut and cut and cut i just hope and pray i'll actually upload this video i have a problem when i do sit down I've had a couple of sit downs that I've done and I've 
ended up discarding them but i just hope and pray edit this video and post it but anyway that was so much fun i was expecting this to be a very small conversation but it ended up being so long but i've enjoyed this has been good this has been fun yeah i hope next time when we're having a sit down i'm going to have somebody else i'm actually planning on bringing a few people on board so we can have these fun conversations and bring back the conversation aspect of my channel because i think i have not been doing that not i think i know i haven't been doing that so i will try and do that and then we can even have mukbangs and eat as we talk as we enjoy this is gonna be fun i hope i'm going to consolidate my thoughts very fast so that we can be able to do that so if you have if you agree or disagree with me or these guys in one way or another the people who have tweeted these things you can always leave them in the comment section below be kind so leave them in the comment section below and then we can discuss further let's just have a ball and enjoy nothing serious something light so thank you so much for watching and until the next video keep growing bye